Time right now is 617. It's time to bring in Chief Meteorologist James Spann. And James, we're getting into that time of the year where we get some really great shelf cloud photos and videos. Now, really, for the next three or four months, we're going to see these afternoon storms, and they can be pretty impressive for sky watchers. This was one of the shelf clouds yesterday over Smith Lake. And understand shelf clouds have nothing to do with tornadoes, nothing to do with a wall cloud. That is on the leading edge of a strong storm. The storm was under severe limits, but sometimes it can be awfully windy, and of course, soon after that, rain typically follows. And we had fire in the sky late yesterday and last night. Some of these storms can tower to 50, 60,000 feet, and you can see that light from a long way away and of course there is no such thing as heat lightning all lightning is produced by the same process a thunderstorm sometimes they might be 80 miles away so far away you just can't hear the thunder but had some impressive lightning displays last night little rain delay downtown birmingham at regions field a passing thunderstorm coming through last night and out in oklahoma they had some uh, pretty rough weather, a series of tornadoes touching down. This is one of the tornadoes near Cole, Oklahoma. And here's a shot taken about 10 minutes ago. Check this out. This is in Fort Payne up in DeKalb County in northeast Alabama where they have a very nice rainbow in the sky early this morning. So let's go out in the longer range here. This is the latest 8- to 14-day guidance. This is for May 19th through May 25th. And evidence, temperatures around here could be near average. Could we see another few shots of continental air? Yes, I think we can for the rest of May where the humidity values come down. But the overall pattern sure looks like summer for a while. Taylor, back to you. All right, thanks so much, James. Here is a look at the radar over the last couple of hours. So far, rain coverage this morning fairly low. We are seeing the development of a few isolated showers. Uh, we've got a few of those that are impacting our southernmost communities, some sprinkles in our northeasternmost communities. The better rain coverage through the morning is likely to stay over the northern quarter of the state, but we'll take you down to where we've got some of those rain showers at this point. A few isolated showers in southern Marion, northern Fayette counties, and looking southward, we've got a few isolated showers that have developed right uh, along 231. Those are moving through Rockford and Coosa County. And here's what we look like. We've got a mainly cloudy sky. Temperature wise, no surprises. We're in the 60s early this morning. By the afternoon, we end up in the low to mid 80s. Some of our southernmost communities could reach into the upper 80s uh, by the afternoon. And like we've seen the last couple of days, we are going to bring in those scattered to numerous showers and storms during the peak daytime heating hours. The Birmingham Barons are making up the game from yesterday. That starts at 4.30 that point, another day we're going to have to watch radar trends. They will then play their, their next game after this. And the good news is that the later we make it into the evening, after about 6, 7 p.m., uh, the rain coverage looks to be diminishing across much of central Alabama. So another wait and see kind of forecast for the Barons game this evening. Moving through the rest of the day, hour by hour, this is what a computer model thinks the radar is going to look like. Through 9 a.m., best rain coverage is across the northern quarter of the state. Lunchtime, a lot of folks are dry, but right around 3 p.m., the development of more showers and storms that will sink southward across central Alabama, increasing that rain coverage late afternoon, early evening, and then that eventually moves south of our area. Rain coverage will fade away this evening, so improving weather conditions. And then over the weekend, rain coverage looks to be a bit lower. We've got upper high pressure building in. That's going to limit our potential for any kind of widespread rain. Just a few isolated showers and storms likely tomorrow and Sunday. A lot of folks stay dry. Temperatures reach into the upper 80s and low 90s. We do have the Birmingham Stallions game tomorrow afternoon. And it's just a very small isolated chance for a shower or storm. The plan for hot weather, this is likely to be the hottest weekend we've seen so far in 2023. It's going to be humid as well, so you're going to feel every bit of those upper 80s and low 90s both tomorrow and Sunday. Into early next week, pattern doesn't really look to change all that much. We are getting into that time of the year where it's a copy and paste kind of forecast every single day. Uh, mornings will be in the 60s, afternoons end up in the 80s with the chance of an afternoon and evening thunderstorm almost every single day.